ginagawa ko, yung active income na yun, I add it to the pool, which I used to invest. Then yung pool na sa invest, it just makes the portfolio bigger. Kasi yung active income, it's not something that you forever, it's not something that you really can predict as compared to, for example, bonds, 7%, 6%. So by year 5, alam mo may matatanggap ka pa rin na 7%. So ma-project ma- mo yun further into the future. For the first 5-7 years, I barely spent. Then I did a lot of extra sources of income. Then yung extra sources of income, I invested it. Then yung investments go from that, I reinvested it. I didn't touch it. We have name. Roy po. Roy from Union Bank. Yes, yes sir. BGC. Bossing pala siya sa BGC. <laughs> Lahat ng mga BGC branches all game. What's your question? Go. Sir, how did you start with the stock market? How did you start po? I was investing in mutual funds. Mm-hmm. I was investing in balance funds and equity funds. Yes, sir. Tapos, binabanda niya ako siya araw-araw. Mm-hmm. So sabi ko, hmm, kung binabanda niya ako siya araw-araw, why not try to do the stock market? Mm-hmm. Feeling ko at that time, parehong effort lang nilalagay ko eh. Mm-hmm. So, ganun ginawa ko. Hindi ko pinulaw yung sa mutual fund ko, pero naglalagay pa rin ako sa mutual fund, tapos yung extra pa, I would put it in the stock market. Ganun lang. The biggest advantage is when markets crash, it gives you a lot of time to learn. Yes, sir. And not just that, if you do it well, you will buy a lot of stocks at cheap. Eh? And the 2008 recession yes, gave me a lot of time, not just to learn, but it gave me leverage also. Yes, sir. Yeah. When you were starting to... Sino yung mga mentors mo nga? I would read a lot on Buffett. I would read a lot of his philosophies, books about him. I would read Buffettology and mga principles niya. So I would do a lot of what Warren Buffett would do as well. Nagkataon lang that when the market crashed, I saw some stocks go up, tas binenta ko. So mm-hmm. Sabi ko, hmm, paano yun? Paano kung hindi na siya bumalik? I realized also that pwede rin pala mag-trade eh. Meron akong account, pang investing, meron pang trading. Pero noong time na yun, pupunta ako sa PSE website. Magda-download ako ng financial statements, binabasa ko yun. Uh, napanood ko sa vlog mo before mm. na kailangan mag-separate ng accounts. Kasi so far sir, I'm doing that. Kaso I'm also thinking ko okay. kailangan ko muna bang palakihin yung investing ko with mutual funds before ako mag uh, and trade? My suggestion at the start, do both. Not for the purpose of gusto mo siya palakihin, but for the purpose of building the skill. Yes sir. Kasi if inuna mo yung trading, hindi ka nag-invest. You're building skills in trading, but you're not building skills in investing. So my suggestion, you do both so that you see, saan ka mas magaling? Am I better as a trader or as an investor? Am I better as an investor or a trader? Because yes, if you find out mas magaling ka sa investor, mm-hmm. put more in investing. If you find out mas magaling ka sa trader, put more into trading. Yes, Pero sir. you will only find out if you do both. Okay. Tapos later on na, if you do businesses and you climb the corporate ladder, so well matatas, you can put in more money pa. And then kung anong tingin mong mas nag-grow sa'yo, be it mutual funds, be it investing, be it trading, put more there na. Transitioning so, from stocks to medyo personal finance. Okay. Kasi so, nag-start mm. kayo sir talaga, more on growth lang before. Mm. Then you just shifted. Unti-unti, oh. So ano yung allocation mo before sir? When you were starting like 20 plus as I read in your book? Uh, pu- puro ano? Puro growth, puro growth lahat. For 5 years straight. Then, Tap, then you just allocated? Oh, oh. When I say allocate, hindi ako nagtatanggal sa growth. Never ako nagtatanggal sa growth. The way ko na distribute ko, may freshman, bibili ako ng growth tapos bibili rin ako ng preferred shares. Yes sir. Year 9 na lang, some of the growth pinapasok ko sa preferred shares. How about cash flows? Preferred shares. Bonds. So yun lang din talaga? Mm. Kasi I believe na re- nag-retire na kayo before. Okay. Then, nag-retire at an early age. So, now, I was wondering kasi given that wala na kayong job, so okay. more of you're doing your own business now. Okay. So, is it more of businesses lang ba yung cash flow nyo or from stuff? Lives from common shares, preferred shares, and bonds. That's it. Then, LTNCDs, then yung mga high-yielding IMAs, yung mga time deposits na mm. medyo mas, mas malalaki yung return, should be income derived from assets na nagbibigay ng cash flow. Assets that give me capital appreciation, I don't count it kasi it doesn't give me cash flow. I only touch the ones that give me cash flow and then yun yung tinatouch ko. Do you also do real estate for instance? Meron, pero hindi siya income generating kasi hindi ko pinaparent. It adds to your assets, but it doesn't give you cash because hindi mo pinapaupahan. Eh. With the stock market, mm. Percentage allocation na lang po pala. More stock market talaga. Mix na eh. Kasi mayroong pang other stuff that are not stock related that, for example, you invest in a business that yung business di pa kumikita for one year, two years, but you're waiting for a payoff later on in the future if it does well. It's always purely based on assets. So anything na active income, ginagawa ko yung active income na yun, I add it to the pool which I used to invest then yung pool sa invest, it just makes the portfolio bigger. Kasi yung active income, it's not something that you forever, it's not something that you really can 
predict as compared to, for example, bonds, 7%, 6%. So, by year 5, alam mo, may matatanggap ka pa rin na 7%. So, ma-project mo further into the future. For the first 5-7 years, I barely spent. Then, I did a lot of extra sources of income. Then, yung extra sources of income, I invested it. Then, yung investments ko from that, I reinvested it. I didn't touch it. Tapos, nung time na yun, when I was getting dividends, yung dividends, binabalik ko pa. It was years also of trying to build it. Hindi siya matagal. People just see the YouTube video started 2 or 3 years ago lang. Just Pero, I've been doing this for 12 years na. I've been oh. working since 2016 also. Oh, okay, sir. Wala na ang mislang talaga. Hindi. <laughs> Asin sobra. Number one fan. Grabe, totoo. <laughs> Salamat. Nice to meet you. Asin. Salamat. Thank you. Salamat. Bigyan niyo ang magandang rate. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha